Okay, seriously, who spends $245,000 on a car they haven't test driven? Personally, I think it's BS. And guys, I don't know if you're aware, but the internet is fake. Most so-called influencers don't own these things, they rent them so they can post cringe. And the funny thing is, it kind of works. Because if most people think you're rich, they treat you like you're rich. That's how Anna Delvey and the Tinder Swindler managed to sucker so many people. You see, the sad reality is, in this day and age, perception trumps reality. That is crazy. You know what? I support you. Do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do it! I dare you! I double dare you! You know what you'd be doing? You'd be taking the US back to the 50s, where women were housewives and men did all the jobs and bought all the things. Because you lovely ladies will be terminated faster than an unwanted pregnancy at Disneyland. <laughs> Boat Cinder Mac! Honey baby, this ain't it. Guys, here's some context. Before posting this response, the honorable senator here was in a thong, standing on her head and twerking for the camera. Now, I'm not gonna show that video, because the office of state senator should be afforded a certain level of respect and decency. And I will give respect and decency to the office even if the office holder will not. But don't worry, you can see the unaltered video on YouTube and on her TikTok page. Now, I come from a different culture where this kind of stuff is heavily frowned upon, but I have a question for my American brothers and sisters. Does twerking half naked on TikTok actually get someone re-elected to public office in the United States? Because if you read the video comments, apparently the answer is yes. So please, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Because I, am, I have an Ivy League degree and I'm a sitting state senator. It's not about what I'm wearing. It's not about what I'm doing. They won't respect me regardless. What? Regardless. What? I have an Ivy League degree. Yeah. Regardless. Regardless. I want you to find one thing to be grateful for every single day. And if you can't think of anything, then be grateful that so many men around the world pay for girls like me to show their bodies online. And because of that, people like you get to see the TikTok marketing content for free. Guys, and especially young guys, you need to know something. The number one reason why men simp is because they're not getting laid. When men simp, they spend money on women but they're still not getting laid. See, the problem is a lot of men think that overly validating women or throwing money at them will make the women spread their legs. And they do, but not for you. And real talk, I speak from experience. See, in 2014, I opened the martial arts dojo, got new students, and one of them was a tight 22-year-old with a beta orbiter. Believe me when I say the guy was simping hard. Now, can you guess who did the egg planting? Was it the Beta Orbiter nice guy? Or the six foot one martial arts instructor who could do cool things with a katana and looks awesome in a black kimono? What? Yeah, that was his reaction when she hooked up with me instead of him. And I gotta mention, I was broke at the time because I put all my money in the dojo and I barely had to put any effort in because she wanted to be with me. And we actually had a great relationship while it lasted, then she went abroad and I didn't want to uproot my life, and that was that. The point is, and I've said it multiple times on this channel, if you want to get laid, use biology, not economics. Because seriously, Harvey Weinstein had a lot more money than Henry Cavill. Who do you think women wanted to smash, Harvey or Henry? 
go work out. And that's the bottom line. Custom Code Sensor. <laughs>